Greetings, horror fans! And welcome to one of our nocturnal visits. What a wonderful location to spend an evening so near the most precious of any night Halloween. The Eureka Theater, the majestic Eureka Theater. Why, the old place is almost as old and decrepit as I am. Please find a place of honor for this fine walking stick in this rare chapeau. Thank you very much. Forgive me for a moment. I enjoy watching her walk off. Okay, I'm back now. And now, lovely assistant, I desire the monster movie book. <sighs> she does it both ways. And I thank you, I thank you very much. And now friends, let's see if the lovely assistant remembered to dust. I spend a fortune having the rare Transylvania dust imported and then scattered about the castle. <laughs> she never fails. She never fails. Let's see what the gargoyle hath picked for us tonight. I heard him up above in the attic scurrying about all day, picking out the perfect movie for tonight. One so close to Halloween. Darn. Oh, he's done it again, friends. Tonight, we will be showing The Last Man on Earth, made in 1964, and starring Vincent Price will be here with us. Few of you true Vincent Price fans may know that yesterday was the anniversary of Vincent Price's passing. That was yesterday. Now this movie tonight is a screenplay from the book adaptation, I Am Legend, written in 54 by Richard Matheson. Now then friends, whether you enjoy Charlton Heston being the Omega Man or Will Smith in I Am Legend, directly from the book title, everybody's got to admit that nobody quite did it like Vincent Price. Well, tonight, Vincent's going to be Robert Morgan, the lone survivor of pandemic, whose victims are returning as vampire-like creatures. <laughs> He's been painstakingly trying to destroy these creatures, one by one. But the question remains, horror fans, is he the last man on Earth? Why, that's the doorbell. Please, lovely assistant. Who would be approaching the castle at such an hour when we're right in the middle of getting into the last man on earth? A triple garlic pizza, no doubt, which is excellent for keeping away the vampires. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I say, this will keep away vampires and anyone else for, for blocks at a time. What do you think of this? <laughs> it works. Your uh, friend uh, Vladimir sent you this. He heard you were uh, playing a vampire type of movie tonight. Yeah, and I see that he included the vampire mirror. <laughs> well, <laughs> perfection has been achieved. 
Please, lovely assist, you have a small smear there on your cheek. Very good. Well, what a treat. Vladimir also mentioned your phone as she is a broke. Yes, yes, I don't really enjoy phone calls. All those modern conveyances, they're, they're all part of the devil. <laughs> uh, he also sent a few jokes along with the pizza. Well, that's the reason why I'm glad the phone was broken. No more Vladimir jokes, but he, uh, he sent them with you, huh? They, they are short. All right, we're very anxious to get into the movie, but go ahead. <laughs> Let's see. Yes? <laughs> Why did the vampire flunk art class? He flunked, uh, you know, I'm at a loss. I, I can't guess. Because he could only draw blood. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. What is the, uh, vampire, what is the vampire's favorite fruit? Fruit? Uh, I, I, well, I, I must admit, I, I don't know. Well, it would be the nectarine. <laughs> yes! It makes perfect sense now. One more quick one, if you have the time. Uh, well, we don't, but one more, okay. <laughs> what did the vampire's mother give him? Why did he give him cough of medicine? Well, I, I can't, I can't even venture a guess. He had a coffin fit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank well, you very much. That, thank you for that. That's all. That'll be about twenty-eight fifty, and it was a long way from Italy. But I, I, I'm glad Amir said over the pizza. Well, he did. He used something called COD. You uh, I should have known. Well, let's see. You know, I don't know why people like to be involved with this right. worthless hair. Uh, take a yes. and a little tip, perhaps. Oh, that about two thousand dollars. I have here. Have some more worthless money. And here, who's this? Looks like your drivers are turning into vampires. Yes. <laughs> I think she was here last week and she was still human. And lovely, lovely assistant, it's time for your pay. Please step up. Rosalie, being a pizza maker for many a years, I have always been a man of good taste. But now, because of you, I am a man of wealth and good taste. Ah, here, that's a... Get on. Yeah, yeah, quite, quite Get all right on. here. Yes, Get quite a... Oh. Come on, driver. Well, there, uh, thank you very much. Pizza Man Dan! What a guy. And I don't think we'll have troubles with Vampire with that triple garlic pizza. Well, friends. I want everyone to stay put when the movie's over because we will be giving away valuable prizes. Several valuable prizes. They'll be given away from the number on the ticket you got when you came in. So there'll be a little more show at the end of the show. And friends, thank you for attending the Eureka Theater and Horror Theater. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into Vincent Price in The Last Man on Earth.